Nice hot day today and I'm rocking the Mini 3. Still rocking my OG PGY Tech bag. This is perfect for the Mini 3. And of course, ND filters from Freewell. UV filter, six pack all day, but these are PL, polarized. If you don't know what polarized filters are for, check this link up here. And my favorite, the ND all day pack. This is the ND4 all the way to 64 and it's also got an ND 1000 for long exposure now before I get started I will tell you 95% of the times you're doing photos please don't use a filter unless you're going for these smooth silky waterfall type of looks then you'll probably use the ND 1000 that's in this pack for photos other than that these other filters are for videos if you want that silky look I made a video here with the Mavic Mini same principles apply um, yeah, go check that out, but we're gonna do some video today. So let's bust this pack open These filters do come in a small package and that's important because this is a travel drone and space is key So nice small packaging is always appreciated for all filters all companies I do believe should strive for nice small packaging It's got a nice magnetic clicky lock which is good keeps it nice and sealed in there and we've got our filters and these glass look quality so let's go over the video and here we are now we're in auto what's the point of filming in auto if you're using filters so switch it from auto to pro so tap on that auto sign and it goes pro now let's set it up for pro right remember I don't have any filters on right now so click over here we only have two adjustments here we only have ISO and shutter some more expensive drones you have aperture controls so aperture gives you some more finite controls but we don't have aperture here we only have iso at the top that's at 1600 now and shutter at the bottom so the first thing you've got to figure out before you set these two things is what am i going to be filming at because this is video so click the little settings icon at the bottom left over here right here settings icon and now you can select your frame rate 4k 2.7 1080p blah 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 well I'm filming in 4k and if you want quality video you should be filming in 4k too I'm doing 30 FPS you can do 25 you could do 48 you could do 50 you could do whatever you want there's just one rule you have to remember now before we go to that rule I like to set my white balance for 650 600 in the day that's just my go-to white balance setting I can always change it when I'm editing right so so I'll leave it at 5600. You can leave it in auto, you can go to whatever you choose, that's fine. The most important thing is select your frame rate. So I'm doing 4K 30 and I'm shooting decent like. You could shoot normal too and use filters, but I'm a decent like guy, so I'll leave it in decent like. MP4, MOV, that's up to you. But if you're doing 4K 30, come back over here, your shutter has got to be one over 60. So 32s are 60, so just remember that. Now let's come back over to the settings now and let's just assume we're shooting 4K 60. I can get up to 4K 60 with this drone, that's a big deal. Come back over to my shutter settings over here and now that I'm shooting 4K 60, I would have to set my shutter to 120 because 62s are 120, 60 plus 60 is 120. As long as you remember that rule, it doesn't matter what you're shooting in. But again, I like 4K 30 because this camera that you're looking at me on is at 4K 30 and I don't want to mix 30 with 60. So I'm going back to 30, 4K 30. And that means I got to come back over here and shut and set my shutter to 60 or what's called one over 60. So 30 times two, 60. That's where I'm at. If you're shooting 4K 60, 60 times two, 120 right it's as simple as that right just double it it's a simple math okay high school kindergarten math okay so now my iso is important the, br the higher the number on my iso the brighter the image that's why the image looks so bright so i'll turn it down to iso 100 and that's the dullest image possible there you go now i'm ready to fly Um, not quite. Yeah, if you're looking at my screen, you're probably wondering, uh, you want a what? It's not that it's not showing. It's showing image is too bright. Now, you're probably saying, oh, we'll just drop it in auto. That will fix everything. Yeah, that'll fix everything. Auto will do a, pr a beautiful job, but I won't get that cinema Hollywood style look. If you want the, ci the Hollywood cin cinema type look, 
then you gotta have to use the filters right so what is auto doing that makes it look so good that when i go to pro and i have the pro settings it's plus three or just super bright well let me show you click on this menu again and and then just speed up your shutter from 60 to 80 to 100 to 120 blah 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 if you notice i can speed the crap out of this shutter until i get a perfectly 0, 0.00 balance perfectly exposed image and then you might say well i don't need filters no you don't need filters but that won't give you the nice motion blur cinematic hollywood look that our eyes are accustomed to it's that simple guys so you can't just speed up your shutter that's like a fix if you don't have filters right not that the image is going to look bad it's just going to be very sharp very sharp images and our eyes are accustomed to blurry images so it tends to be more uh, relatable to us when we see these blurry images so i'm going to go back and set my image back to i'm shooting 4k 30 1 over 60 and 1 over 60 is still plus 3 to bright but when i have my settings like that and i stick this darn dark dark filter on right look i'll put it in front of the camera just so you can see look how it helps to change everything look at that filter on filter off filter on filter off so all that essentially means is that i can keep now this hollywood look without having to mess with my shutter speed does that make sense does that make sense do you have to do it no should you do it if you want to up your game and you're really into video yes if you're doing photos do you need these filters no it's just that simple guys so let me pop the filter on get this bad boy up in the air and um let's get some footage oh i'm blasting my ac right now because i had the drone on the dashboard talking to you guys and guys this thing gets hot right in front of the vent cool off baby cool off today is definitely an nd64 day why am i going with such a strong filter on the nd64 well because let's put this the old one in here and close it up oops this doesn't close it would have been nice if the old filters could have fit in here but oh well every bag's got a little zipper just drop it in there people use nd filters because they want more professional look and feel to their videos and what's the point in having a professional look and feel if your image is not clean so always use the included rag or if you have your own clean the, the lens of the camera and then clean the filter and then put it on. Remember, free well at the top, the free well writing at the top. Just put it, twist, unlock. Very simple. You can deviate from your shutter speed a little bit to get it zero exposed because you don't have an aperture, but you don't want to go too crazy. From 160 to 180, a little faster on the shutter, a little slower on the shutter, no big deal. From ISO 100, 200, not a big deal either, but you want to try to keep your shutter double your frame rate as much as possible. It's Hollywood time, baby. Hollywood time.
that was easy. I'm gonna turn this off before it gets too hot. Now I was definitely moving a lot, so it did not, it did not get hot. It's hot out there, but it didn't get hot because I kept moving. So the trick is to keep moving, guys. So the filters are here. Um, you can pick them up at Freewell. I'll leave links for everything in the description below, whether you choose to go with the PL because you're more into polarized or you just want the UV filter to keep um, the UV light out. So whether you're into ND, ND PL, or just UV filters for great photography to filter out the UV light, Free Freewell definitely has them and makes them all so yeah go check them out i like the image quality you saw it there works great with my luts which by the way are coming soon yes my dfx luts are coming soon so keep it locked right here i hope you enjoyed the filter video i hope you know when to use and how to use filters now because it is very simple especially if you've been flying for a long time with that being said guys i will catch you in the next mini three video Make sure you become a Patreon, guys. Big benefits to Patreon. Get direct access to me. Any questions, I'm right here on Patreon. Support this channel, and there's benefits. Last mini two went all the way to the UK. Yeah.